What is up my nerds of bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay But today guys what I want to talk about today is Modern Warfare Season 4 leaks Now before we get into the video I just want to say if you have not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button If you are subscribed thank you please just hit the like button and everything like that And keep viewing all these videos I hope to upload some Valorant gameplay or moments uh, some rainbow gameplay and moments and many many more to the channel i also have a twitch channel which i live stream weekly to i play valorant rainbow uh, and many other games on the uncharted series as well that i'm trying to do as well kind of a playthrough of all of those games that i got for free and many many more of course and i also nearly have drops on my channel so by the time you're watching this i probably will have drops hopefully anyway so yeah link down in the description below to my twitch channel so let's get into it guys so there's about two and a half weeks or less left of season three which we now know hard hat the iconic modern warfare tree map is coming in modern warfare in the coming weeks and isle 9 which is probably going to be a small map for 2v2 gunfights so in season 4 it's seemingly going to be massive and season 3 will end with a bang and season 4 will start with a bang so some people have been saying some weapons and more have been leaked and rumors so the first thing is that there are actually five different weapons in the game files of modern warfare so we'll start with the ones that will probably come out near enough at the start and then maybe some will probably come through the middle of the season and then probably near enough at the end. So the first one is called the ACP-9. Now this is a SMG with a high fire rate and this has been in the game files since the beta. Now loads of people were saying it was the vector and many people were saying it was actually scrapped and I still think it could be coming in Modern Warfare but you never really know. Now up next we actually do have the vector. This was recently added to the game files with the latest update that came from Modern Warfare. Now of course vector, the name vector is actually copyrighted so this name won't actually be used now it won't be named vector it will be named something else next we have is the hkg28 now this is a marksman rifle a semi-auto gun so we could come in this could come in the middle of the season of season four for there's no audio or anything in the game files as of now for this weapon yet for now anyway uh, another weapon which is an iconic one is the Galil. Now this has never been in an Affinity Ward game so it's kind of confusing to see that it is because it's only really been in the Treyarch games and the Black Ops games. So it'll be interesting to see how this one is going to be for we have seen the Grau which is probably one of the ones that everyone uses in Warzone and in modern warfare itself because it just absolutely beams and it is actually insanely accurate and you can actually kind of set it up to look not really look like the galil but kind of shoot like the galil and everything like that now finally we have is the xm109 which looks like a barrel 50 cal and it seems like it's going to be uh, like a, a long range grenade launcher now there's no images or sounds for this weapon and i highly doubt that this one will come into modern warfare if it does that could possibly change the whole uh, meta of warzone because this then just change it into a grenade launcher that looks like a better 50 cal would just be incredibly incredibly overpowered so Live events may be coming to Warzone and it won't be anything like Fortnite. It'll be more uncovering stuff about the whole Warzone story like the bunkers, the phones, the computers and the access keys. So this is coming in Season 4 and it'll probably tell us more about these things. They also answered a question in an interview about the future of Warzone where... The person just basically said that Warzone will connect all of the different universe, 
universes for example the modern warfare series that started now and quite possibly the black ops series that will more than likely come now i actually said in a previous video that this will be a really really good thing to have now an operator that could be coming in season four we could see is soak metavish captain price or gaz in season four now i feel that soap may come out and it could easily bring hype to it however i feel that they should kind of bring out uh captain price more to sort of stick with people who have saw or played the campaign now of course it could easily be soap for he was mentioned in the ending of the modern warfare campaign so you never really know who could come out they could easily do that because they mentioned ghosts in the last one in the last in the bit of the campaign and he's in the game they mentioned soap he could easily be in the end he was in the end he could easily be coming as well never really know but yeah that's it guys i hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace